Man United players feel Marcus Rashford has become demotivated. A few Manchester United players worry that Marcus Rashford's downward trend this season has demotivated him, according to Manchester Evening News. In the last five months, Rashford's form has drastically declined and some members of the United team believe the attacker is nearly coasting through games. Although Rashford has only scored four goals this season, United fans elected him the Sir Matt Busby Player of the Year in 2022-2023 after he scored 30 goals. The 26-year-old was fined two weeks' wages, or around £650,000, after it was revealed that he was leaving on a trip to Belfast that involved heavy drinking last week. Rashford was dropped for United's FA Cup match against Newport County. He declared himself fit on the morning of the game and offered to play but Eric Ten Hag ordered Rashford to train at the club's Carrington training complex. Although Rashford told United he went out on Wednesday night, it turned out he had actually gone out on Thursday night and early on Friday morning. The players had Thursday off but they had to report for training on Friday. This is not the first time Rashford has been involved in a disciplinary issue this season. A few hours after United were defeated 3-0 by Manchester City earlier in the season, Rashford hosted an ill-advised birthday celebration. Ten Hag labeled it unacceptable. Working with Rashford for a number of years, a source says that as a younger player, when he wasn't a star in the United team, he had a better attitude. In addition, Carrington insiders believe Rashford lacks a more steady presence given the changes to his group over the past 18 months. Kelly Hogarth was replaced as Rashford's public relations representative by the sports PR company after he broke up his relationship with her at the beginning of the previous season. Premier League manager slaps £50 million price tag on Manchester United transfer target. A summer transfer for Crystal Palace star Michael Aulis, according to Sheffield United boss Chris Wilder, would cost minimum £50 million given his continued links to Manchester United. On Tuesday night at Selhurst Park, when Crystal Palace defeated the Blades 3-2, Aulis was the team's best player. The 22-year-old twice set up teammate Ebe Rishis before scoring a sensational winner. Alas has six goals and three assists in the Premier League despite missing a significant portion of the season due to injury, and numerous elite teams, including United, are interested in signing him. However, signing the French under-21 international will not be cheap, and Wilder anticipates that come summer, his asking price will surpass £50 million. We could have done with Alas having a few more days off and making sure he was properly ready for the weekend but that's the challenge you're up against. Wilder said on Tuesday evening. You want to play against the best players as well. When they find those moments that we're trying to find, it makes it a difficult evening. We're up against, what are we saying, minimum 50 million pounds. I'm not sure, Palace Sporting Director, Dougie, Friedman, and the Crystal Palace Board would even accept 50 million pounds for both of those players, Alice and Ease, so you have to deal with that. It's what the Premier League is about. According to recent reports, Ullis would rather join United than pursue a transfer to Chelsea or Arsenal. After using his £35 million release clause, Chelsea appeared to be in line to sign the winger in the summer. However, they were taken aback when he turned down the offer and signed a new four-year deal in August. A release clause albeit one that is far larger than the original £35 million is also anticipated to be included in that agreement, and it will go into effect in the summer. After another year in which Eric Ten Hag struggled with creativity and goals, United are looking to bolster their offensive lineup. Manchester United to appoint new sporting director in February as Ineos whittled down shortlist to two names. Manchester United expect to appoint the club's first ever sporting director within weeks after Ineos whittled down their shortlist to two names. Omar Barada has already joined from Manchester City as the club's new CEO, representing the first major appointment by Sir Jim Ratcliffe. 
Though Ratcliffe's £1.3 billion investment in the club is yet to be ratified by the Premier League, he is not waiting around to make further changes. United have squandered around £450 million under Eric Ten Hag, and the £1.3 billion they've spent since Sir Alex Ferguson's retirement has failed to produce a league title. Profit and sustainability rules, as well as United's debt, means the club can no longer afford to be reckless in the transfer market. Ratcliffe wanted Barada in place before a sporting director is appointed, so that the Spaniard can give his input on the appointment. And the Telegraph say Ineos are now down to the final two, with an appointment expected in the next few weeks. Newcastle's Dan Ashworth and Crystal Palace's Dougie Friedman are two leading candidates. Paul Mitchell, who used to head up Spurs recruitment, has long been linked with a move to Old Trafford. Julian Ward, who transformed Liverpool's transfer operations, is another candidate. United are open to appointing a head of recruitment alongside a sporting director, such as the weight of the task at the club.